The last time I tried to grow grass out here, the lawnmower ruined it in the final stage. I've let it grow this long so that the little bits can grow this long and I still don't want to put the lawnmower over them. So I'm going to use these. Yeah. Well, that was this morning. I was really struck actually by how soft the new grass is. It does need to grow a lot more before I'm actually going to mow down there. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what progress I've made on the railway lately. Well, I'll show you. Most of the time when people go to lay model railway track, they just buy it from a shop. It's got plastic sleepers, it's flexible, you just bend it to the shape you want, you stick it down, you run your trains. Easy as that. Now when I was planning Tree Corner Station, I wanted it to be a certain shape and I wanted it to stay that shape and I thought the easiest way to do that and the most fun way would be to have a go at this. Now this is soldered construction. The sleepers are made from circuit board which has been cut into strips and then split down the middle to isolate the two rails from each other and then the rails are simply soldered down. There was one thing that concerned me slightly about this construction method which was expansion. Unlike plastic sleepers where the rail can actually move on the chair, these are fixed to the sleepers. So the entire assembly has got to be able to expand and contract. So I've been quite careful to uh, make sure there's a few breaks in the track. This is actually a dummy point, these switch rails don't actually do anything, they're soldered in place. Um, it was a good bit of practice for me. I've now got to construct an actual working point. In fact I've got to construct working points at either end, so that's going to be fun. These points will stand up to the elements a bit better than the Hornby points that I had planned to use, because I've read that Hornby sleepers, they actually go quite brittle when they're left outside. I'm now part way through working out where pieces of track are actually going to go down here at the bridge and Rockery Corner. I've got two brand new pieces of flex track on the bridge there. Don't be fooled by the sleepering, there will be no sleepering. I want it to have gaps down there because bridges don't always have sleepers on them just to find other ways to secure the rails. So kind of messing about with that idea really. Oh hey, do you want to see some blue flowers? Oops. <laughs>